Thank you for joining us. We are continuing to see the fallout from that massive tech outage that is impacting Microsoft services from disruptions to 911 services around the country to grounded flights. And then we've been following some significant issues at Denver's airport as well. Yeah, that's right. We also did call Jeffco Sheriff's Office. They are not dealing with any issues at the moment. And uh, Colorado Springs police say that they are on accident alert, but it is not affecting their 911 services this morning. Of course, as we are seeing 911 services around the world being affected by this right now we are working to confirm with those other agencies to see how it's impacting them but we want to get back out to the airport with brianna fernandez right now brianna we were just looking at what you were <laughs> posting online longer lines now behind you and we're also uh, frustrations from a lot of the people that are there yeah, you know, I actually spoke to some folks here at the American Airlines check-in counter, and they were telling me they've been waiting here for hours, some since 3 a.m. this morning. They're just hoping to make this line and either get a refund, check-in, or at least get a flight by tonight. Let me just show you this line right here at American Airlines. So this is what we're seeing at the check-in counter right now. So we check in uh, with FlightAware. Right now we're seeing a lot of cancellations and delays since we last spoke. Since we last spoke, there was 140 delays. Right now, those delays are up to 166, and then and 63 cancellations here at Denver International Airport. Several airlines plus the FAA is saying that they're monitoring the situation that's impacting their IT systems and several airlines have requested assistance with ground stop until the issue is resolved. So another thing that's being affected, if we can come back out here live, you can see that the flight board informations that you usually see at Denver International Airport, they're showing a blue screen that says recovery. Usually what we see with those flight boards is people checking their flight seeing if it's canceled or delayed or what gate that they need to go to. People aren't able to do that. So passengers are having to make these lines to see, hey, can I get my boarding pass? Because some telling me that the app is not even working. So if you're coming to Denver International Airport, probably it's the best idea to just call your airline, check in with them, see if there's delays, see if there's cancellations, and see if you can even get on a flight today. We're now live at Denver International Airport. Brianna Fernandez for 9 News.